Hello, this is Dr. Anish Desai. I am the medical lead for UNS. I am also a clinical pharmacologist and a nutraceutical physician. 25th July is celebrated as the World IVF Day. In fact, in 1978, the first test tube baby was born. So UNS has taken the special initiative to celebrate the World IVF Day. And this entire week, beginning from 25th of July, we would be celebrating this. And every day you would be hearing from our experts who have been working tirelessly to make this whole journey of parenthood possible for the couples. And they would be expressing their views and sharing their experiences and the latest technologies with you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Some interesting facts about IVF. The most important question is that who needs IVF and when should we suggest IVF? So it's not a blanket protocol for all the couples. Some couples will need IVF as a first line of treatment, like if the male sperm counts are very low, less than 10 million or the motility is almost zero or there are absolutely all abnormal sperms, then they would need IVF even within one year of married life if they want a baby. There are couples who will need IVF as a last option because they've unexplained infertility, they've tried everything, IUI, laparoscopy, regular ovulation induction. And there are couples when they will need an IVF like as a balancing gate because the male has got somewhat lower count, the female has got a low AMH or there are fibroids developing or there is endometriosis. Endometriosis patient need IVF early. And there is a group of patients which is polycystic ovary group of patients where if it's a mild variety, maybe they will conceive naturally or with ovulation induction or with laparoscopy drilling. But if it's a very severe PCOS and a very high AMH and only getting withdrawal bleed, then these patients also will need IVF earlier than later. But understand one thing, to get the best results for IVF, younger the age of the female, shorter the duration of infertility, it is better Otherwise, IVF also has its own success rate. So, do not delay the IVF option. If you fall into this category, you can get it done even within one year of married life. And if you are that unexplained infertility, you can wait for the other outcomes and then go for IVF. Thank you.